Hi guys, I got a quick tutorial for you today and a bit of a channel update because I know I said I'd be making some tutorials and then I never got around to it. I don't like doing that, but uh, I ended up running into some work that I couldn't turn down. So that's why I haven't been able to make the tutorials, but I do plan on making them as soon as I'm done this in about a, two more weeks. So I will be making some tutorials, but I do have a quick one for you today and it's to answer a question I got a while back. And I've been meaning to answer it for a while now, but it, I knew it was going to be a short one, so I was waiting until I only had a little bit of time, and that's a nail. Um, somebody had asked a question, well, I thought they did on this video. Uh, you know why? It's because YouTube's weird. Okay, so this guy, I hope I'm not butchering this, Hassan Hussein, asked if it was possible to do this Blender tutorial here in Lightwave. And it is, and I gave him an explanation, and it wasn't exactly the best explanation. It was kind of the right explanation. But I, I thought it was a good topic to cover. And um, and plus, I like the idea of redoing a Blender tutorial in Lightwave. I'm going to put Blender in the title. We'll see, if, we'll see if we get more views that way. I'll be interested to see if I do or not. But, um, but so this is the tutorial here. It's this uh, x-ray effect where they cut out the object in the back and replace the material on it basically and it's actually pretty similar we do a pretty similar thing in lightwave so let's just get started on it okay so the first thing we're going to do is just load the object and it's just lightwave one and all this is the logo and this plane that's all there is to it pretty much um first thing i want to do i'm going to go into the camera go into the properties i just want to set this up so we can get a decent render That should be good there. One global illumination. Uh, no interpolated. Important sampling background. Two bounces. Two rays. I'm going to put use transparency and directional rays. Usually I wouldn't, but I'm using the dielectric here, and I want it to look good. So that's why I'm doing that. And then for the render, I'm going to turn the recursions up pretty high, way more than I normally would, because like I said, I'm using the dielectric here. Turn all that off. So that should be good for the camera. Next thing I want to do is go into the scene editor. And I just want to turn that light off just so it's not affecting anything. Then I want to go into the background. Texture environment. I'm just going to load an HDR image. Let's load image. This one right here. Um, spherical on the Y. So now you'll see. If I go into the camera view, if I go into VPR, you'll see I get a nice global illumination. I do want to turn on draft mode off. So we get a nice global illumination render based on the backdrop. I want to pull this off a little bit further. It doesn't really matter, but if I rotate it, I don't want it to clip into the actual logo. That's why I did that. So now, basically, what we want to do is, is we want to change the material of the Lightwave logo based on this plane here. And there's a couple ways to do it, but I'm going to show you the way that works the best, that I've found anyway, um, with any type of material. So, first thing, let's deal with the screen first. So, we'll go into the screen and go into the nodes. And I just want to get a DP kit, shaders, edge. And I want edge holes to be on. We'll do point oh four. That should be good. And I also want the border to be white. You could do whatever with this. I'm just doing this so we have somewhat of a, a screen to look through. If you... Like, if you were doing this in reality, if you wanted to have, like, a... You could have another object that was actually the screen object. And you could just parent that to this and then move them around together. And this would still work. But for what I'm doing, I'm just going to put a border on this with the edge node. So I'll take the color into the color and the edge into the clip map. And you should see that'll give us this effect here. So now what we have to do is we have to change the Lightwave logo just behind that 
and the way we're going to do that is with uh, we're going to get DP kit tools ray intersect and you can try using the, the native version but I found trying to use the native ray cast geometry which is what this is equivalent to or almost equivalent to it doesn't work in the service editor um, I, in service editor context I've never been able to get it to work properly so that's why I'm using DuPont's version so what we're gonna do is, is we're just gonna pick the layer 2 which is the screen this thing and for the position we're gonna use the world spot and for the um, direction what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a DP kit item info item info and we're gonna select the camera and we're gonna get a math vector subtract and for the direction what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna subtract the world spot from the camera position the world position of the camera and we'll use that as the direction so now what this hit will give us is what we want so the way we can deal with this is we'll just get a materials um, switch take the hit into the switch and I'm just gonna grab two materials here of I'm gonna get car paint and I'm going to get uh, materials, dielectric. And for the dielectric, I'm just going to turn on uh, reflection and refraction blur. Turn the absorption to, I don't know, 15. We'll go with this blue color here. Uh, we'll do partial internal and with the roughness of three. And for the car paint, I'm going to turn on clear coat blur and I'm just going to turn these flakes off. And I'll leave everything else the same. So I'm going to take that into the false, that into the true. And if we go in the material here, you can see we get the, uh, the plane will cut out the, uh, the light wave logo. And so you can scale it, rotate it, you can even rotate it this way, it won't matter. So that's pretty much all there is to it. it it's pretty similar to how they did it in Blender, um, but that's it. Have you got something out of it? Take care, guys.